look like poop because I just got off work and I'm going for a workout after this and I'm not about to get all dolled up. Sorry, not sorry. So there will be no more disclaimers explaining why I look like poop. But from now on in my videos until like September, Jay's gonna look like poop. Unless she films it on the weekend. So, sorry, not sorry. Okay, on to the video. And just a warning, this video is probably going to be very rambly because I do not script. So, yes. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with my booktubeathon wrap-up video for the summer 2016. It wasn't very successful but you know A for effort, F for precision that's what we're gonna say. So without further ado let us get started. As you guys know booktubeathon was July 8th to the 24th I believe and it was run by Ariel Bisset. I'll leave her link down below if you want to check her out. I'll leave the booktube on Twitter and stuff down below too but I mean it's over so like, I don't know if it's gonna be useful for you but whatever. I had a not so good reading week. I have updates. If you guys want to check out day three or day five those are the two updates I actually did because I didn't really do any reading so I thought you know I'm not gonna update because no reading was done. I completed one out of the seven challenges. The one challenge I completed was the Rainbow Book Stack Speed Thing Challenge. If you want to check that out, check out update number five because that's when it happened. The one reading challenge I finished was to read a book to movie adaptation. Did I watch the movie adaptation? No, so technically I didn't even complete this, but we're gonna pretend. And it is The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. I was very excited to read it originally because I love the movie. I've seen it a million times. So, when I was like, oh yeah, I can read this. I said I was going to read it last booktubeathon. Might as well do it this booktubeathon. I did not like it that much. Like, it was good. It started out really strong and I was super excited. And then we got about halfway through and I just felt everything dragged on. And I was just like, okay, like... I get it, whatever. She got murdered and raped. Cool. Like something happened, please catch the guy, do something. Basically it's about a girl named Susie Salmon who was 14 when she was raped and murdered by one of her neighbors and it's basically her narrative looking down from heaven and how her family is coping and what's going on on earth and that's really all it is. I was kind of unsettled by a couple of stuff that happened in the book which I can't go into because spoilers but it was just an average book for me. I wasn't really all that into it so... 3 out of 5 stars. And then I almost completed another book. I would have completed it if I hadn't gone out Sunday. Originally it was like, I'm gonna read all Sunday because I don't have anything planned. And then I drove my boyfriend home because he came over for my football games on Saturday and we watched Lights Out, by the way. Great movie. Not that scary, but watching my boyfriend jump a million times was hilarious. You go with somebody who jumps a lot. Then I recommend it because there's a lot of jump scares. But basically, he texted me and was like, wanna come to the parkour gym? And I was like, yeah, I wanna come to the parkour gym. So no reading got done on Sunday, like I said. So, I only completed 400 out of 479 pages of Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Still loving this book. I'm so excited to finish it. I'm finishing it tonight no matter what, so you will see it in my regular wrap-up. I don't care what you guys say. If you don't believe in me, I believe in myself. Still loving Will. Still loving Jem. Can't decide who I want Tessa to be with. Honestly, I love Will because he's sassy and that just makes me happy. But Jem is like super cute and like adorable and I'm just like my heart. So I don't know who I want them to be with. I feel like I'm going to pick one eventually once I get to the other two books. But right now, I don't know. But, but this is my book for a new favorite author or one of your favorite authors, something like that. But I'm loving Cassandra Clare. Girl, you you can write some good books. I think I'm probably gonna give this five out of five stars, honestly. And then the books that I didn't read was Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I was supposed to read this and I didn't. I'm sorry, Molly. Please don't hate me. I'll read it eventually. The other book was Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour and I didn't read it because I just didn't do well on this booktubeathon. The other one was Alice Through the Zombie Glass by Jenna Showwater. Did I read this book? No, I didn't. So, you know, we tried, we failed, but it was a good time anyways. So, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Please don't hate me because I'm a failure. Okay, bye.